Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain classification of system with static and dynamic system. Now see, first of all, what is static system? So static system is memoryless system. So as static system is memoryless system, its response is only depending on present input. So static system is having a response depends on present input only. So that is what memoryless system as its response is depending on present input. Dynamic system is memory system. So for dynamic system we need to have memory. So its response is depending on present, past and future inputs. So dynamic system that is memory system and its response is depending on present, past and future inputs. So if system response is only based on present input, one can say it is static system or memoryless system. Let us try to understand this with some examples so it will be more clear. Like see, in first example, if I consider y of n that is equals to x of n. So directly from this we can say output is only depending on present input. So this is what memoryless system and to check it all we can do is you can place n is equals to 0. So if n is equals to 0 you will be finding y of 0 is equals to x of 0. So output depends on present input so given system is static. Let us have one more case. If you have relation y of n is equals to x square of n plus x of n minus 2. So here if you consider n is equals to 0, you will be finding y of 0 is equals to x square of 0 plus x of minus 2. So from this we can say our output is depending on present and past input. Output is depending on present and past input. So that is what dynamic system. So here we can say output depends on see this is present x of 0 but x of minus 2 that is past input. So output depends on present and past input. So given system is dynamic. Let us have one more case. If you have y of n and that is x of n plus x of n plus 3 this is what the case which you have right and if you consider if n is equals to 0 so in that case y of 0 that is x of 0 plus x of 3 so here we can say our output is depending on present and future inputs. So output depends on present and future input. So given system is dynamic system. So we need to see whether output is depending on present input or not. If output is depending on present input only, in that case one can say given system is static system. But if output is depending on present, future and past input, in that case that system will be dynamic system. I hope that you have understood this.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on your suggestions, in future I'll make videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.